September 19th is World Apheresis Day, and here to tell us more about apheresis and the work they do here at Hawksworth Blood Center, I'm joined by Dr. Caroline Alquist. Great to see you today, Dr. Alquist. Good to see you as well. Thanks for having me. So for folks who might be unfamiliar, what is apheresis? Absolutely. So apheresis is a procedure we perform here at Hawksworth for both blood donation and in the therapeutic space, which you see around us. We use apheresis for a number of indications, but most commonly to collect blood, specialized layers of blood that we may want to keep. In brief, this technology is the ability to separate your blood by components, and we can sip off the layer of interest. Wow, it sounds really fascinating. Where do you perform these procedures here at Hawksworth? So we perform them here on our fourth floor space, as well as at most of the regional hospitals. So you may often see our, our teams traveling hospital to hospital to help those in need. Okay, so what makes Hawksworth's program so unique? So we are a fairly large team of, of nine nurses, and we are able to travel to any regional hospital as required, both inpatient and outpatient. And we are the only local providers of apheresis services for the collection of stem cells. When it comes to apheresis, what sort of people normally require this? The people that are typically calling our team for therapeutic apheresis procedures would be those that need any particular component of their blood replaced. An example would be those with sickle cell disease, as this is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. In those procedures, we can take their sickled red cells out of their circulation and replace them with healthy donated red cells. So Dr. Alquist, what's going on behind us here today? So what's happening here in the apheresis unit today is what we see almost every day, and that's the collection of stem cells. You can join the registry at bethematch.com where they will type your specific HLA type and if you happen to match a patient anywhere in the world that needs a stem cell transplant, they'll give you a call. And if you pass all the physical exam and the preliminary workup, then you may be sent to a center like ours. So Dr. Alquist, I know we talked a lot about blood donation. How is stem cell donation different? Stem cell donation is very similar to blood donation in that we can perform blood donation using an apheresis instrument or stem cell donation and collection using an apheresis instrument. They're just different slightly different types of machines, um, slightly different groups of people that perform the collections, um, but all are very highly trained individuals. But we're just once again selecting that layer of interest. In the case of stem cells, we're taking that white cell layer, putting it in a bag, and shipping that off to someone in need. So this is all very fascinating. If someone watching wants to learn more about apheresis, where can you go? I'd recommend they check out the American Society for Apheresis' website, also known as ASPA. Um, additionally, the Hawksworth team would love to talk about this. We, we do it well, we love and are passionate about what we, what we do every day. So feel free to reach out to us and the team. We'd love to educate the public more. All right, that sounds good. And how can people find you here at Hawksworth? They're always welcome to check out our website at hawksworth.org. All right, sounds good, Dr. Alquist. Thanks so much. Not a problem. Thanks for having me.